ChatGPT is smart. ChatGPT is fast, but ChatGPT has a serious persuasion problem. Prompts are not the answer. I will reveal what the answer is, I'll reveal what the problem is, and I'll tell you how to fix it so that you can write insanely profitable emails. I'm John Benson, and this is Sales Copy Secrets. Welcome back, and I should really be welcoming myself back after all. I feel like I've been away from YouTube for years now. I barely remember how to push the buttons to get the damn thing to record. Look, I need, forgot how to get haircuts too. I really need one badly. Apologies, okay? Let me give you a few words of catch up, then we're gonna dive into the training. I promise you I've been away for a very good reason, and it's gonna help you write better copy in the future. That is guaranteed. Here's what I've been up to. Oh, and before I tell you, I'm gonna give you a live demo in this video of ChatGPT writing really bad and then really kill your emails, so stick around. Now, why am I so tardy? Well, mainly because I've been knee deep in AI software. Benson is now months away from release, which is very cool. It does something entirely different than everything else, and I can't wait to show you what it is. And the other reason is this thing called Epic Email. Now, I'm gonna talk about that in this video. I'll even give you a cool little training tool for free that gives you some really cool epic promotional style emails, and all you need is ChatGPT+. Now that's coming up later in this video. First, let's talk about prompts. And I bet your greed glands are going crazy right now. Oh boy, John's gonna give us magic prompts and turn GPT into a wizard. Not really. <laughs> because the thing is, prompts are not the answer. Now, why is that? You've probably heard tons about prompts and people producing prompts the size of war and peace. Well, let me tell you why I don't believe it's the answer. Now, I cover this more in depth in other videos, but basically it's because ChatGPT is a logic machine. It predicts the next set of letters at blazing speed. It doesn't think well illogically. And the problem is sales copy, especially VSLs and emails, are illogical in a lot of places. I break the rules of logic all the time, as to, so I wanna increase more intrigue, I wanna increase more persuasion. And you can't prompt your way there. A prompt is just a series of commands. You need to teach chat to be illogical if you're gonna get it to write any sort of persuasive sales copy. So now let's look at chat GPT plus writing emails on its own. And I'll prove the point by showing you. And I'll start with a simple prompt and then we'll go into a complex prompt. Let's go. Okay, I'm over here at chat.openai.com. That's how you log into chat GPT. I'm gonna create a new chat, which I already did. And again, you do not wanna use GPT 3.5. You have to use GPT 4, otherwise it's gonna give you crap examples. But I'm gonna use 3.5 first to show you how bad 3.5 was in case you're still on the free plan. And I'm just gonna use a simple prompt, write me a promotional email for a book authoring product. Now that's a dumb prompt, but I wanna show you how bad this is gonna be, okay? So, okay, it writes it very quickly here, but you think that this is good. Wow, it just popped out of nowhere. It's the same formula over and over and over again that ChatGPT uses. Have you ever blank? Do you blank? We have the solution you've been looking for. It sounds like Radio Guy. And if you can read it in the Radio Guy voice, it sucks. That's how you know it sucks. Introducing our revolutionary book authoring product. It, I don't know if I have to tell you how bad this is, but I threw up a little bit in my mouth. I, I, I would rather date a Kardashian than read this email. So it, it's bad. Okay, so let's go over to a new chat and go to chat four. And do, I call it chat four, it's GPT-4. Same exact prompt, a lot slower. I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, I'm gonna stop the generation right here because chat four is a little more clever, but it's equally terrible. Do you dream of, no, it's the same pattern. It, you, you think it's inventive, but it really isn't. It's just following very, very uh, low-level writing patterns. Do you dream of becoming a successful author, but struggle to organize your thoughts? Say goodbye to writer's block and hello to your master. It's the same thing with book craft. It just created book craft out of thin air, which is kind of cool, out of whole cloth. It just pulled it out of the sky. But you don't want to promote in, in an email with the name of the offer. It's just terrible, okay? This is no way to get interest. This is no way to get curiosity. There's no tension here. It's terrible. So let's make the prompt better. You are a direct response copywriter. So I'm telling chat what it is. I need you to write me a promotional email for a product for aspiring authors. I'm not gonna give it the name of the product because you saw what it would do to that. It'd start putting it in immediately. Be sure to create tension. Do not sound too salesy. 
using emotional visceral language. That is the key to writing much better copy, use emotional visceral language. We use that all the time. Do not use exclamation points and lead to a strong call to action. So it's a much better prompt, okay? Multiple layers to the prompt, multiple commands. And I'm just gonna stop generating it here because it would just continue to go on. It starts off so much better. You have a story inside of you, a story that's been waiting for years, maybe decades to be told. That's good. Okay, that's very good. That's engaging. Something's been holding you back. The fear of facing a blank page. The chaos of unorganized thoughts or the weight of doubt. Notice how wordy this is, though. Lots of commas. Lots of long sentences. This is bad copy. Okay, it's got good ideas, but it's poorly written. And then listen to what it does next. Today we're changing that. Introducing Story Forge. It, it, uh -huh. Radio guy comes out again. And it's terrible. No more of this. No more of that with Story Forge. You'll, it, it's just terrible. All you have to do is read it in that voice, which you can never not hear again. Thank you very much, John, for both giving me that vocal that I'm going to hear in my head for the rest of my life and using a double negative. You're a copywriter. You should know better. You will hear that forever, radio guy. But this sucks, okay? So now that we know that it sucks, let's talk about how to make it not suck. Okay, so what's the answer to this? Well, the answer is to leverage how chat was trained to start with, something called in-context learning. And you do that before you do any sort of prompts. I-C-L, in-context learning. It's a formula. And that way chat doesn't go off all half cock like you just saw in writing really bad stuff that's so bad it will take years off your life. All right, a set of data that we want to use to get chat to start thinking in terms of what we want. We need that too. I'm going to show you that in a second. And then a simple prompt. I mean, I'm talking baby simple prompt, maybe two. Let's check that out. I'm going to find an email that I like. And I just happened to have one for my good buddy, Todd Brown. Sent me one I thought was really cool. And I thought to myself, hey, what would an email like that sound like for my friend Derek, who writes, who has a book authoring offer? Hey, why don't we try it? So check this out. I'm going to copy and paste Todd's email right from my inbox into a Google document. You could use any sort of text editor. And there we go. Now, I've got the term example up here. That's very important. Do start with example colon and then type it underneath, right underneath it. And that's going to help chat figure out what we've got going on here. Now, this is a really interesting email because it has a quote from Russell Brunson about funnels. Okay. So it's very specific, but it's very persuasive. Chat cannot write stuff like this. It just won't do it without this type of in-context learning. That's super important. The ICL here is very, very important. So think of the example as an ICL. It's in-context learning. Now, if you had more than one, it would be even better. So I'll show you a way to do that later. Okay, so we're gonna enter data. And what data is, is essentially what you want to say. And how I'm looking at this is I'm looking at the data and I'm saying, what do I need to 100% for sure replace and I'll let chat do the rest of the stuff for me. And here's what I want to fill out. Niche, avatar, promises. And in this case, I added quote name and quote. And that's all I had to say. Now, you probably won't have to do that because yours probably won't have a quote. But I wanted to show you something kind of fancy. So I'm going to do this in the niche for my friend Derek, who is who sells training on how to become a book author. And even though the URL is in here, what I've noticed about chat before is chat will try to title things. It will try to promote an offer, which you should not be doing in a blind promotional email. So I took out the URL. That's fine. So now it doesn't have a frame of reference for that. I'm going to paste this stuff right over top of it. Okay. That's the niche of book marketing. Authors is the avatar. I gave it three promises, okay? Pretty straightforward, I had to write three promises. You can go into chat right now and say, give me three promises I should make to authors who want or are interested in book marketing. And boom, it will write tons of them for you. It, you could say write 30 of them. So you can do that if you want to. I knew what they were. Uh, and the quote I used is a Tony Robbins quote. And his name is Derek. That's it, that's all I did. Now this is gonna work for a lot of other emails that I that I can do. I can find any email that I like and basically clone it. It's pretty cool. Now we're gonna need one more thing and that is the prompt. And let's scroll down here. I'm gonna paste the prompt in here and there we go. So I'm gonna blow this up and have you look at this. Rewrite example above using data as reference. Sounds really tacky, right? But this is how chat sometimes thinks. I don't need to tell it to pretend it's a copywriter and any of that kind of stuff because this is in context learning. ICL is really data and logic. And so I'm getting it to think logical. 
but I'm giving it something that's written sort of illogically. It's written in very high level copy. Notice I say remove anything that does not fit the context of data. Don't use exclamation points because it loves to do that. Chat will just put exclamation points everywhere. That's horrible. You don't want that in an email. It screams of desperation. Do not use a welcome or hello for the first line because sometimes it'll say, hello, fellow avatars. It sounds like the Steve Buscemi line from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> you don't want that. So we've got everything we need and this entire thing is going to be copied and we're going to go over to chat GPT. Okay, I'm at chat.openai.com. That's how you log into chat GPT and I'm going to be using plus. You need to use plus. GPT 3.5 sucks at this. Don't even try it. GPT-4 is worth the, at this time, 20 bucks a month, believe you me. So GPT-4, copy, paste, hit an enter key. This is all there is to it. Okay, it wrote it and it followed it fairly well. And chat's a little bit particular sometimes, so we need to use a second prompt and get it to follow more word for word. And here is that prompt. Rewrite and follow example more word to word, word for word. That's it. And I can keep saying write more word for word if I wanted it more word for word, but this gives you a unique version of the email that you're trying to clone and lets chat fill in a lot of the gaps for you, which is kind of cool. So it's following a much more persuasive formula thanks to the ICL, the in context learning. Now, there's a much easier way to do this, one where most of the hard stuff is just gone, in fact, all of it. So you don't have to mess around with that ICL stuff or finding emails that might convert. That's all gone. It's got the formulas and in context learning built right in. All you do is cut and paste. It's that simple. Oh, and by the way, it is free. Free is awesome. It's called chat mail. It's training I just created and I can want to give it to you for free, man. So just click the link you see below this video. If I can say it, I can speak it. I can believe it. I can believe chat mail does one thing. It creates epic style promo emails. And EPIC stands for Engage, Promote, Inspire, Consume. But why is that so important? Well, look, you need EPIC style emails if you want to sell more with email. It's just that simple. It's because EPIC uses all four psychological triggers needed to sell all in one email. It's kind of cool. So you engage the prospect using specific open loops and questions and NLP commands and more. You can promote effectively and quickly because you create far more intrigue driving people to click. You inspire the reader through psychological tactics like reframing and anchoring. And then finally, you get the person to reconsume the email they just read. It's really cool. And these tactics have been tested to the tunes of tens of millions of dollars in direct sales for my team. So we know this works. And now you can get chat GPT to crank out near endless epic style promo emails. And it's completely free. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it. Just click the link that you see below this video and I will send it to you for free. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.